Welcome to Olympitech, making Discord servers hassle-free. In the previous video, we covered all the basic stuff for Smoogle Translate, including inviting the bot, uh, single translations, single user automatic translations, and we also went over the permissions required for everything. In this video, we're going to cover everything that's inside the premium suite of commands. So, including enhancements to the TR Auto individuals automatic translation settings, TR Auto All, which is translation for everyone, and TR Link. In the free version of Smoogle Translate, we covered TR Auto and individual users automatic translations, such as this TR Auto. I'm going to put status on there to see what we have. As we can see, I'm still personally translating server-wide French. With the premium commands enabled, each user in your server now has the ability to translate to multiple languages at the same time, before they were limited to just a single one. So now we can do TR Auto DE, TR Auto IT. So German and Italian enabled there. Check our status, and we have three enabled. So if I say hello server, it will give us three outputs. There we go. Three outputs for our translations. Next, we come to auto all. Now, to explain this, auto all is exactly like TR auto, except it's applicable to everyone in the server, regardless of their personal settings. It's also worth mentioning that TR Auto All will completely override TR Auto. So we have TR Auto All and then we can set our language, so let's say German, and then at this point we can limit it to a channel if we wanted to, which I am going to do just for the purpose of this tutorial, but if you didn't have a channel in there it would apply to every single channel in your server. So if you wanted to fine-tune your translations, which most people do, add a channel on there so every time you do it you are creating the translation of your choice. If we enable that, turned on auto all translations to German on one channel. If we then um, check our status There we go, general to DE. Now, we can translate each channel to any number of languages if we so desire. However, if we want to turn that off, it would be TR auto all off, then your channel. Otherwise, you'll be doing it for the whole server if you have server-wide translations enabled. There we go. Server-wide translations look like this. There you go, server-wide DE, but if you look above here, server-wide translations for auto all are off, and then we had an individual channel selected. This is different in the sense that we have no channels specifically selected, but everything in every channel. Next is the link command. Link is very unique in the sense that when you have translations in place, and you actually want them to appear in a completely different channel, Link will do that for you. So we have two commands based on this, TR Link and TR Unlink. So if we have a look at Link first, TR Link, and then it would be source channel to destination for your language. Now, I'm just going to set up a couple of channels quickly. I'll be right back. Now I have my channel set up, we should be able to link our channels together. So if you remember back to the auto all section of this video, we would need to set uh, translations going specifically for the general channel. Let's turn off our server wide and then turn on 
uh, auto war translations to French, German, and Italian. We'll start with German. DE for general. TR auto all. FR for general. TR auto all. IT for general. There we go. So if I now say something. I should get my three translations out of it. German, French, and Italian. There we go. So now I want to send each language to a separate channel. Here comes TR link. TR link source channel, which is general, destination channel, German, for German. And then we repeat source to destination for your language code. There we go. So if I now say something again, if you look up here where we have our channels, we'll get our notification icons. There we go. Three translations, German, French, and Italian. Now, if we didn't want them anymore, you could either delete the channel and the bot will clean itself up anyway, or if you just want to turn it off, you use the command tr unlink the channel you're going from, which is general. I then also specify the channel that it was linked to. So if we want to remove French, we just do that select it, turned off translation forwarding from general to French so if we check our, our link status now we've only got German and Italian involved so if we wanted to turn everything off anyway TR unlink source channel general and it just does it for everything checking our status again shows we have nothing forwarding that's all folks, thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you next time.